Hi everyone, I'm Tanaz from foreverconscious.com and this is your weekly energy forecast for the week of February 2nd. We are in a new month, a new month brings a new vibration. February feels a lot uh, calmer, a lot more peaceful than January. January was a really big month. February in comparison brings uh, a bit of settling energy. We'll feel a little bit more present, we'll feel a little bit more um, less sort of jolted around and more kind of focused and grounded in what we want to do, where we want to go, and just in our general alignment. So I think you guys are going to like the month of February. This week, the major sort of cosmic event is the full moon. It falls in the sign of Leo on the 8th or 9th of the month. That'll depend on your time zone. And even though this happens at the end of the week, we are going to be feeling this full moon from the start of the week. So usually about four, maybe five days before we really start to feel that full moon energy brewing. We start to feel that um, pull of energy. So full moons are like magnets. They draw things out of us. They help to draw things that we don't need out of us. They help to um, draw gifts, talents. Um, hard work seems to come to fruition around a full moon. So it's this sort of sense of drawing things out of us. And that can be things that we no longer want. It can also be creative inspirations. The list is endless. So that is something we can all tune into as we get closer to this full moon at the end of the week. When I was looking into the energy around this full moon, I felt many different layers to it. So I think this is going to be a full moon that we all feel very differently. So I encourage you to tune in and tune in and see what resonates with you. I kind of encourage you to do this anytime to tune in and see what resonates with you, but more particularly around this full moon because it does feel like it has many layers and we may interpret and feel and um, tune into these layers in a different way. So I'll give you a kind of a rundown of the layers I feel around this full moon. First, on the kind of surface level, this full moon falls in the sign of Leo. A Leo full moon is generally a wonderful, creative, abundant, light-hearted energy. Leo um, rules over the sun. So when we have a full moon in the sign of the sun, it's like a beautiful warm ray of sunshine. Um, you know, lighting up the parts of us that are maybe dark, that feel a little heavy. And this light, rays of light bring a lightness, bring a joy, help us to see things in a more um, lighter, softer, quieter kind of way. Those heavy things that we've been carrying don't seem to hang on to us so tightly under the presence of a Leo full moon. So there's this really beautiful energy. And on top of that, on this particular full moon for 2020, um, Mars is, is in a very harmonious alignment with it. So Mars is the planet of action and energy, and it's making a beautiful, harmonious alignment with this full moon. So we could feel motivated. We could feel really confident. Maybe there's been something that we've wanted to do or a project or something that we've been feeling a little fearful about. Well, you know, having this Mars and Moon in this beautiful harmonious alignment, we'll feel confident to go ahead with it, confident to put ourselves out there, confident to put our hearts on the line and maybe feel a little vulnerable. It's this really uh, wonderful motivational energy that is tied to this full moon. It's really a great time to push past the things that you are fearful of, the things that you are holding yourself back um, from doing and just, you know, take that leap of faith. This full moon is definitely supporting that, encouraging that. And if you open to it, you'll feel that little motivational boost, that boost of self-confidence and self-belief. That is feels very strong around this full moon and it's there if you need it and you want it and you want to open to it. Um, I recommend it because it's there for you to use from the universe. So it's this beautiful energy that comes with this Leo full moon. On a deeper note, on a deeper level, underneath all of that, there may be this sense of needing to restore and recharge ourselves. So even though there is this sense of motivation and action and, you know, Mars, it's this little fiery, like go-getter kind of energy, 
we may actually feel the opposite. We may feel this need to retreat and restore ourselves from the inside out, almost like we're charging up a battery. And maybe we don't have the energy straight away to go out there and do all these things because the full moon is charging us up. We're feeling uh, recharged. So you may also feel that sense of needing to rest, needing to reflect, needing to go within so you can recharge that battery. So then once the intensity of the full moon passes, you can go out into the world and do all those things and have all that motivation. On another level, this full moon is also encouraging us, um, it's shining a light on some of our shadow qualities, the things that maybe are no longer serving us or, you know, the things that are sort of resting or bum bubbling, bumbling, I'm bumbling, bubbling on the undercurrent of our lives. So, th you know, things that maybe we haven't wanted to look at because it's too painful or things that we know are there, but we've been trying to escape it or dance around it or not fully immersed in it. This full moon might encourage us to open our eyes and really look and really see. Um, you know, I said that the Leo full moon sometimes shines a light and sometimes things can be revealed or things can be exposed. Shadows or things that are blocking our own inner light might come up for you to look at. So if we think of Leo, which is ruled by the sun, and we think in astrology, the sun represents the core of who we are. And so what is blocking you from being able to shine in your truest expression? What is blocking your inner light? And sometimes under this Leo full moon, um, especially with some of the other alignments that I was feeling into Stuff like that can come up to the surface for us to become aware of. And then when we're aware, we're in a power position where we can choose, okay, I want something different or maybe I need to sit with this. We can choose how to you know, follow up from that point on. But this full moon is um, helping us to figure out what's dimming that light and making sure that we can you know, put that light back on because we all need to be shining with our true inner light. Um, it's part of our purpose here um, as we walk this journey together. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, I know that was a lot. The full moon does have a lot of energy. So I encourage you, as I said, to feel into what resonates with you. I hope that was helpful. I have more information and a full moon ritual on foreverconscious.com. So be sure to check that out. Thank you so much.